Chapter 6 Wife The boy wants to work for the captain, so the boy starts to be a sailor. The ship is on the way to Brazil. We come to Brazil after twenty days. I say goodbye to the boy and the sailors. Brazil is a new state in South America. Many people start a new life here. It is the same for me. I know nobody here. I meet some people. They have sugar plantations. Soon we are good friends. I like Brazil very much. Soon I learn the language. I have some money from the captain. I buy a small land in Brazil. I start to produce sugar. I don't produce much at the beginning. But after two years my plantation is big. I am single. But my life is good. My financial situation is better every month. After three years in Brazil I have enough money. I can have a woman for cleaning my house. I ask my friends if they know a good woman. One friend says I have a daughter. She is eighteen years old. I think that she can work for you. She is also a very good cook. The next day his daughter comes to my house. She is friendly. But she is shy. She is also a very pretty girl. We talk. I tell her what I need. The next day she comes to my house. She cleans the dirty floor. She cleans my furniture. She comes to my house every morning on Monday and on Thursday. She works for four hours. She also cooks for me. She also gives food to my cat. I am always happy when I see the girl. Sometimes we have breakfast or lunch together and we talk. Then she is ill. She can't come to my house. I feel a strange feeling when she is not in my house. I miss her. I think maybe I love her. One week later she comes to my house. I am happy when I see her. I see that she is happy too. I hug her. Then I kiss her. It is a long kiss. Two weeks later I go to her father's house. I ask him if I can marry his daughter. He is quiet. I wait for his answer. Then he says I agree. I am very happy. Two months later I marry the daughter of my friend. We start to plan a family. This part of my life is great. We have big plans for our family. We have big plans for our plantation. We need a bigger house. We need more money for a bigger house. I think about the business in Africa. I can make a lot of money in Africa fast. I speak about Africa with my friends very often. I tell my friends that we can make a lot of money in Africa. Chapter 7 Hurricane One day, three friends come to our house. They tell me that they want to go to Africa. They ask me if I want to go with them. I say, yes, I want to go with you. We start to prepare for the journey. Soon we are ready. I say goodbye to my wife. Then we go. We want to come back two months later. We leave Brazil in September. Our ship is very big, but we are only seventeen men. The ship is full of things for business. The weather is good but very hot at the beginning. One week later we see a hurricane. The hurricane is very strong. Our ship is in danger. The hurricane is finished after three days. But when the hurricane is away, we have a problem. The ship is broken. We can't go to Africa. The captain wants to go back and repair the ship. But I don't want to go back. We talk about it. We think about the best solution. Then in the evening a second hurricane comes. The wind is strong. The waves are very big. Then one man shouts, Land! When the man shouts, Land! The ship stops. The sea is not deep enough. It is bad for our broken 
ship. The ship can break every second. We must go on a smaller boat. This is very dangerous because the boat is very small for seventeen men. But we must do it if we want to survive. So we go on a small boat. The waves are very big. The wind is very strong. The wind pushes used to big rocks. We know that the crash is near. Then a big wave comes. The wave turns the boat. I am underwater. I can't breathe. I don't see the other men. I don't see the boat. Then my head is above water. It is only a short moment. But I can breathe. I see a small beach between the rocks. A big wave pushes me to the beach. I am still in water. But I feel a land under my feet. I know that I must stand up. I must get out of the water. The next wave can take me back to sea. But my body is weak. I can't stand up fast. The next wave comes. I am under water again. I can't breathe again. But then another wave takes me back on the beach. I am in water. But I can stand up. I can go ten meters. I am on the sand. I am safe. But my arms and legs are very weak. I collapse. And I lie on the beach. After some time I stand up. I look for the other men. I can't find the other men. I am the only man alive. All my friends are dead. I only find three hats and two shoes on the beach. It is horrible for me. Chapter 8 Island The weather is still very bad, but the waves are not so big. I see the ship. The ship is far from the land. I look around. I see that I have nothing. I am wet. I have no other clothes. I have nothing to eat or drink. I have no gun. Dangerous animals can eat me. I have only a small knife which I find in my pocket. This situation is really bad. How can I survive with only a small knife? I need to drink some fresh water. I find a small river. I drink the water. The night comes. I am scared of dangerous animals. I can't sleep on the ground. So I spend the night in a big tree. When I wake up the next morning, the sea is calm. I still see the ship. I swim to the ship. I don't see a way inside the big ship. I swim around the ship twice. Then I see a rope on one side of the ship. I use the rope. Now I am on the ship. The ship is empty. I try to find some food. I am lucky. Some food on the ship is dry. I also find a bottle of rum. I take the bottle with me. Then I hear something. Somebody is on the ship. Who is it? Somebody from my friends. It is not possible. My friends are all dead. I am scared. I go to the place where I hear the noises. Then I see who it is. It is a dog. It is a dog of our captain. Now I have a friend. I am not alone. I must take the food rum and the dog to the beach. But I don't have a small boat on the ship. I must make a raft. I find some wood. I make a raft from the wood. I also need some clothes. I look for the clothes. When I look for the clothes, I find a nice carpet. I also find four guns and a box with gunpowder. I put everything on my raft. The sea is calm. The wind goes to the land. This is all good. Soon I am on the beach. I look for a place where I can stay. I see a hill. From the hill I can see where I am. I take a gun. I walk to the hill. I go to the top. I see sea around the whole place. I am on an island. I see two small islands near. One is to the north. One is to the west. I also see a big land to the south. The land is about a hundred kilometers.
this far. I see nothing to the east. I see only the ocean. I don't see people on the island. I see only wild animals. Chapter 9 Tent I see many birds on the way back from the hill. But I don't know their names. I don't know if I can eat them. I kill one bird. But the meat isn't good. I go back to the raft. The next day I want to go back to the ship. I want to take all important things to the island. The next storm can destroy the ship completely. I make a small tent near the beach. I bring the things which can be destroyed by rain to the tent. The night comes. I lie on the ground. I put two guns near my left shoulder. I also put two guns near my right shoulder. Now I feel safe. I am tired. I sleep very soon. I swim back to the ship the next day. I make a second raft. I put many things on the raft. I am very happy when I find seven new guns and some beds. I take all these things to the beach. I go to the ship every day. I bring back many good things. For example, I find a lot of candles. I need candles on the island. I also find two big boxes of tea. I make a lot of visits to the ship. One day I discover a box which is closed. Under the box I find a key. When I open the box I see some money from Europe and Brazil. Money is not important on the island, but I take the money with me. I also find cards with pictures. They are pictures of the king and the queen. I can play some games. I can have some fun with the cards. The next day, big dark clouds are in the sky. They are bigger and bigger. The wind is stronger and stronger. I visit the ship, but I don't make a raft because a storm is near. Rafts can break easily in a storm. I swim back to the beach. The wind is really strong at night. But I am safe inside my little tent. The ship is gone the next morning. I know that I can stay on the island very long. I want to make a nice place where I can live. I also need to be safe. I can look for a cave. Or I can make a bigger tent. Maybe I can do both. I need a place which is near fresh water. The place must be in shadow. It must be easy to protect the place. I also need a view of the sea. I want to see ships. I find a nice place next to a big hill. I put my tent there. The hill protects me from one side. I build a fence on all the other sides. The fence has no door. I use a ladder when I go over the fence. I take all my things inside. I have more plans in my head. I make two tents. One tent is big. The second tent is small. The smaller tent is inside the bigger tent. The bigger tent protects the gunpowder and the food from rains. I live in the smaller tent. Chapter 10 Calendar When the tents are finished I start to make a cave at the bottom of the hill. I want to use the cave for food. I bring stones and earth from the cave to the fence. I make a terrace on the inside of the fence. I still work on the cave when a storm comes one day. I see lightning during the storm. I think that the lightning can hit my boxes with gunpowder. The explosion can destroy everything. The explosion can also kill me. I am scared. I need to make a change. After the storm I open the boxes with the gunpowder. I put the gunpowder in smaller boxes and bags. I hide the boxes and bags in the rocks. 
I have a lot of gunpowder so this takes three days. I also hunt every day. It is a break from the hard work. And I also need some meat. When I hunt I also start to know the island more. I discover some goats. I hunt them. Now I have enough meat. I am sad sometimes. I think about my wife. I miss her very much. I think about my friends in Brazil. I think about my parents. I know that traveling by sea can change your life completely. Traveling can be great. But traveling can be horrible too. I know that my friends from the ship are dead. I know that I am the only person alive. I am lucky. I am also lucky because I have all the things like food guns and clothes. I can't survive without these things. I decide to make a big cross. I put the cross on the beach. I write on the cross the date of my first day on the island. I want to keep information about time. The cross is my calendar. I make a small cut in the cross every day. Every Sunday the cut is longer. This cut shows the end of the week. The last day of every month is also a long cut. One day I think about my situation. I have negative thoughts. This is not good. I want to change my negative thoughts. I decide to write all good and bad things. First I write what is bad. I am alone on this island. I have nobody for a conversation. I have only a small chance that I can see England again. But I am alive. I am safe. I have my freedom. I have enough food. This is all positive. I don't have good clothes, but I don't need a lot of clothes on this island. I have my dog. He understands some words. He understands when I say sit down. Come here. Bring it. Don't jump. Don't do it. I see that my situation is not perfect. But I have also some good things in my life. I need to concentrate on positive things only. I continue to make my place better and better. I make the cave bigger. I have space for many things in the cave. I am happy because my life is now well organized.